handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Kentucky Downs here on Wednesday. It is the 8th of September 2021. We're going to look at the stakes races on the program, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Let's look at the stakes action. Races 8 and 9 from Kentucky Downs. The 8th race, it's the, it's the TVG 2 stakes going for a purse $400,000. Races for 3 year olds and upwards. Basically, there's 2 divisions of this race. Uh, so they split it. We have a field of 10 horses going one lap around the, uh, or excuse me, the distance of ground here of one mile and 70 yards on the turf course. Mile 70 here in TVG2. And I have to admit, I don't really watch TVG that much anymore. Um, occasionally at uh, early in the morning to watch the European races, but other than that, not really. Download the uh, Roku RTN app because they have the um, Capital OTB channel. Great, great thing. Um, and all summer long watching Saratoga on that. that that's absolutely great. Uh, but uh, admittedly, like I said, don't really watch TVG. Uh, but top selection, I'm going to go with the Four Horse Kentucky Ghost. We'll go 4937 in the Superfecta. 4937 Super. Top selection, Four Horse Kentucky Ghost. Four year old gelding by Go Zapper. Victoria La Oliver trains one. Um, Rafa Heberano gets the mount. The horse's most recent ad came 26 July at Colonial. Mile late in the Buckland Stakes. And the horse put a second by head. You know, he sat back early, had a very good turn of foot late. He just missed, but, you know, he, he ran just as good as the winner, I thought, at Eons that day. Coming here off some very decent buyer numbers back to Kentucky Downs, where he's run very well in the past. I think he could really get a good race. Also, drawn well in this turf course, which you need. Two back around the Wise Dan at Churchill, mile on the 16th on the 26th of June. He finished fifth by two and a quarter lengths there, and you know he just had a little bit of a trouble trip. He closed up well late, you know. He just needed a better trip there. And then prior to that, 23rd of May at uh, Churchill, mile and 8th and off 62, winning by a neck, closing up from mid-pack. A very, very good race for him there. And then prior to that, uh, Keelan going mile 3, 16th in the last race, 82,000. He uh, finished second by a nose again. He, he just couldn't get there late, you know. He just couldn't get the nose bob. He ran here last year on the 12th of September, going a mile 5, 16th in the lounge race, finishing second by 5 and a quarter lengths. He just couldn't catch the winner time of the season. He was just slightly better and went on to have a good season. And, um, 8 to 1. Let's use him here today. To recap my selection for the 8th from Kentucky down to TVG2, let's take the 4 horse Kentucky Ghost, 4937 in the Superfacta, to race number 9. The ninth race from Kentucky Downs, it's TVG Stakes, going for a purse $400,000, race for three-year-olds and upwards. We have a field here of 11 horses going to the turf course again, the distance of ground of 1 mile and 70 yards. Mile 70 here in the TVG. My top selection, we're going to go with the number nine horse. The number nine horse, who is Bob and Jackie. 9187 in the Superfecta. 9187 Super. Top selection, nine horse, Bob and Jackie. Five year old horse by Twirling Candy. Richard Baltus is trained. John Velasquez gets to mount. The horse's most recent out of game, 20th of August at Del Mar. Mile 16th and optional 100. And the horse been a second by two and a quarter lengths. He was with them early on, had a little bit of a trouble trip around the uh, far turn. But, you know, had to decent turn of foot, but coming here to um, Kentucky Downs, where you should see a very cook good pace to close with, I think he really run a good race. Two backer in the Wicker Stakes at Del Mar, one mile July the 18th, and he finished fifth by two and a quarter lengths, and he was with them early on. Again, and he just couldn't keep up. You know, first off, the refreshing, he might need the race there, and then the 13th of March was his previous race, Santinia, six furlongs in the San Simone. He finished six by ten lengths there, and uh, you know, he just couldn't keep up with those uh, slightly faster horses, uh, but before that, a very nice place in the Thunder Road at um, Santinia, and a very nice place before that in the San Gabriel coming here looking for his first victory since the wicker stakes of 2020 i think he really got a good trip but sixth one will use him off some very good workouts um you know you also can't throw out the number one horse here strong tide florent is on this one uh four year colt by english channel um you know he's 21 here but he's run you know some decent races uh though in the mr d last time out he just really couldn't keep up where he just didn't show up uh, at the mile and a quarter trip and throughout that belmont derby where i thought the trip was just way too long but um he should see a good pace to stalk with in this one which i think should suit him well if he could run a race like he did in louisville handicap he could definitely win against these horses and if you run a race before like he did before in the uh at, at church in late april going a mile on the 8th where he won by one and three quarter lengths. If he run that race today, he could definitely win. Um, you know, he's run sneaky good races um, in the past that could win against these horses. At 20 to 1, we'll put him on the multi-race ticket. And don't throw out the 8-horse Snapper Sinclair, who absolutely loves this turf course. 3 and 2 on it. Um, this is kind of your horse for course kind of course anyway. Um, you know, he placed in last year's Taurus Mile. His only loss on this turf course. Other than that, he's been pretty perfect. Um, getting a second off the bench back from uh, Dubai. Uh, most recently ran the open verse where the horse had a 
very nice place. You know, another horse at 5-2 who can definitely get the job done. So we'll use him on the ticket. But to recount my selection for the ninth from Kentucky Downs, it's the TBG. Let's take as a top selection the number nine horse, Bob and Jackie. We'll give kudos to the one horse, Strong Tide, and the eight horse here, Snapper Sinclair. 9187 Super, 918 in your multi-race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.